to my channel. I know. It's been a while. Last check-in was 29 weeks. I am so sorry. I am very late on these updates. I am officially 40 weeks in two days. Uh, I was going to do a update in between 29 and 40 weeks, but we're just going to go with it. This is where we're at. This is what we're doing. Life is life. Life happened to me and yeah this is where we're at today it is now christmas eve 40 weeks and two days still no baby still very much pregnant here's an update okay so let's get into it we're here now 40 weeks and two days Tomorrow, on Christmas morning, I am scheduled for my C-section. Officially, don't judge. I'm not trying to go 42 weeks and not give birth or wait 42 weeks to have a C-section if I have to have one. Either way. So, it's scheduled for tomorrow. I'm just happy he's going to be here and I can have him in my arms, finally. A little background as to what happened since today. Well, stuff that happened in between up until today. On October 26th, I went in for an ultrasound just to check on his weight, his uh, anatomy scan again, just to double check, I make sure everything was okay. Everything turned out great. The only thing w was is that he was breech and his butt was down. About a week later, I go to the doctor. We find out that he's breech. We schedule a C-section for December 21st. Amazing. Go back the following week for a checkup doctor was a little concerned that he might be a little underweight he was only four pounds eight ounces I was only like maybe 32 weeks 33 weeks so she sent me for another ultrasound at this point baby flipped I felt the flip it was not fun it hurt a lot but he flipped either way when I had my ultrasound done, head down, ready to go, V back, back on. This is what we're doing. Canceled my C-section for the 21st. Went back to the doctor, showed that he gained a couple of pounds. He's now five pounds, four ounces. Doing great. Amazing. Here we go. We're ready to give birth. I'm just kind of waiting for the signs. At this point, I am getting some tightening in my tummy. Braxton Hicks going on nothing crazy though like it's not like with my daughter like I actually felt like I was having crazy cramps with her but um this one is just like my belly would be really tight like right now my belly's really tight and I wouldn't um but that's about it it was nothing crazy nothing out of the ordinary nothing I couldn't handle it's whatever go back to the doctor 34 weeks 35 weeks just updating her, letting them check my belly, my growth. Now we're here at 38 weeks. They check my cervix. Cervix is closed. Belly is high. No sign of labor. 39 weeks. My daughter was born at 39 weeks. Would have been amazing if he would have came at 39 weeks. No. Cervix is closed belly is still high baby has not dropped no sign of labor <laughs> this is amazing this is where we're at now 40 weeks and two days so schedule c-section for christmas morning i'm with it let's do this let's get this baby out i'm excited so is my husband by the way i'm officially married miss melinda's here by the way I will definitely share a little video on how that went. It was really cute, uh, very, very, very intimate. It was we did it in the courthouse, so my brother was the witness. Um, I'll share the video because he did record us in the courthouse getting married. But I wanted to share that also because that also happened. Say, Jasmine, to be lawfully wedded, what? To love, honor, and cherish her for as long as you both shall live. You have a ring for her? 
Guardians. <laughs> we don't have rings. No rings. All right, you can give her a kiss. Thank you. That works. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and do you, as Malin, take Angel to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love, honor, and cherish him for as long as you each other? How long do I have to think about it? I Not do. too long. I do, I do. I do. <laughs> as both of you oh. have consented to the marriage, have acknowledged this in front of us here today by the power of the laws, the state of New York that are vested in me. And I'll pronounce your husband and wife. Un beso grande. Thank you. I also had a baby shower. I'll also share that. I wasn't expecting one. I didn't even want one because I felt like it's just a waste of money. I honestly just wanted to use the money to buy all the stuff that I wanted to buy for the baby. That didn't happen. But anyway, still super grateful that I got the baby shower. It was beautiful. And by the way, I looked amazing with my family. Okay, that's everything that happened since our last update. May not seem like a lot, but it was a lot. A lot, a lot. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Super grateful for you all who do watch. I'm definitely going to record tomorrow the entire um, process of me going into the hospital and me having the C-section. I'm going to try to record the C-section if possible or at least take pictures to share with you guys and just let you guys know my experience on how it went, <clears throat> where I'm going to be giving birth or where I gave birth if you guys are interested and the entire process of me going through the C-section this time around. And then the first time around with my daughter, I'll let you know, I'll do a compare contrast to both experiences and um, how everything went. So until next time, I will see you guys on the flip side. Peace, love, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys soon. Guys, just a quick reminder, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for more to come on my journey. See you guys soon.